How's it going, Savage Life family? Today we're going to be talking about how Bitcoin adoption continues to increase, but there also is some bad news out there, which is why the market is down. So be sure to smash that like and subscribe. Now let's go ahead and hop right into it. As you can see, liquidations are through the roof. It is a huge chaos. The market is currently in a panic frenzy. On April 24th, $226 million in longs were liquidated. On April 25th, $166 million in longs are liquidated. Are these people going to end up ever learning? Absolutely not because it is much easier to sell somebody on the fact that they could get rich tomorrow rather than slowly investing on guaranteed growth in the next 10 years. So as you can see, the market has been red due to the fact that Bitcoin liquidations are dropping the market, which is carrying fear out of individuals believing that we are not going anywhere up anytime soon, which is further and further plummeting down the market. Ethereum Classic down, Monero down, Decentraland, everything is red currently unless those altcoins receive some great news. But as you can see, Bitcoin carries the market and without Bitcoin, crypto is not going to head to those highs that we have seen before, like May of last bull run. So this is why the market is currently red. Is there potential for it to drop? $38,000 is some scary levels. If we break beneath that, $36,000, $35,000 is inevitable. So if you are planning on holding for the next three to five years, buying at these levels are great. If you are trying to swing trade or day trade, you should wait a bit as it could possibly drop beneath this. Now, let's go ahead and hop into this news article, which is bearish right here. The European Central Bank executive board member Fabio Panetta on Monday called for a new global standards to regulate crypto assets. Why is that? He believes crypto is a bubble. He compares it to a Ponzi scheme and says there is similar dynamics to the 2008 financial crisis that we saw here in the US. Not to mention he added the fact that crypto assets are too volatile and transfers take too long to process to be useful as a form of money and the potential means to circumvent financial sanctions, meaning those individuals who launder money in crypto and get away with harm through this monetary policy. Now, he says climate change is affected but he must not know that the only coins that affect climate change are the proof of work coins that require intensive energy. Now that energy is sacrificed as this virtual currency, which is what makes it valuable. Bitcoin wouldn't be valuable if it transitioned over to a proof of stake coin because the coins would come out of thin air. Now, you know what else comes out of thin air? USD, the money printing machine that is currently happening here in the US causing inflation to be at 8.5%. In the past two years, we have printed 80% of the money that is currently in circulation. Has it affected us? Yes slowly but the full impact hasn't hit us as of yet which is why the markets are fearful now these banks these huge regulators are seeing this happen and they are seeing people flock over to crypto to combat that inflation to fight for freedom so they are trying to do everything in their power to make it look like crypto is a ponzi scheme it's a bubble that's going to burst to have you miss out on that future generational wealth but if you take the long term approach, dollar cost average down, then you could just simply shut out the noise because these people want what's in their best interest, not what's in everybody else's best interests. On the bright side, we have some good news. Buenos Aires. Now, according to Mayor Loretta, the Buenos Aires city government will not receive crypto directly from residents but instead Argentine pesos via conversions to be carried out by leading crypto companies. They are now trying to allow residents to make tax payments with crypto. They're going to be using these mediaries, these middlemen, crypto companies to convert citizens crypto into Argentinian pesos where the government could go ahead and accept and use it to move and push the country forward. Now the service will be available in the coming months. Diego Fernandez, the city secretary of innovation and digital transformation told Coindex. This is what I'm trying to say, ladies and gentlemen, that in the upcoming months, there is a shift that's happening 
where adoption for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies is increasing, it's very beneficial that these countries are seeing crypto as some sort of legal tender where you can go ahead and pay your taxes. The same thing happened in Brazil, in Rio de Janeiro. So in January, Mayor Eduardo Paez said the city plans to allocate 1% of his treasury to reserves in cryptocurrencies. Through the initiative, the city is seeking to become a global hub for cryptocurrencies. Why? Because there's so much money to be made in this world. There's so much opportunities. It's extremely innovative. We're seeing cars shift to electrical cars. We are seeing robots being built. The future is here and it's up to you to make the investments. So for the last bit of news, we have Fidelity Investments Accounts offering Bitcoin inclusion in his 401k accounts. I know the market is red, but look how bullish this news is. They currently hold $2.4 trillion in 401k assets, which is accounting one third of the market at the time it was recorded back in 2020. And with this announcement, they are allowing investors to put Bitcoin into their 401k retirement savings account later this year. So near the end of this year, all of this is going to kick in. This is plenty of money that's going to be added to the cryptocurrency industry. We're currently seeing a market cap of 1.7 trillion, but imagine once this $2.4 trillion investment 401k firm taps into the cryptocurrency industry, we're going to be seeing billions of dollars pumped in, which is why I'm still bullish. Yes, we are in a bear market season. Ups and downs are going to happen. Either you can go ahead and take your hefty loss and walk away from your potential financial freedom, or you could simply dollar cost average and wait it out if the time is on your side. If you are in a rush, it is a dangerous market to be in. But if you are patient and you know where the market is heading, it is a great opportunity for you. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.